stop streaming? Who knows? Let's see. Oh, we're live. All right. I'm bored. So I'm going to do a uh, cicada tier list tonight. I don't know how long I'm going to go. We'll see. So let's start with the first cicada. So here's the tier list. Let's show it first. Uh, there we go. I don't know if we need this character. It's, you know, S through F. You know, in my mind, all cicadas are S, but, you know, we have to be, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make them all S. But So let's go down. I have, these are, uh, there's 3,000 cicadas in the world, more than that. But So I picked some of the ones people know about. Uh, you, ones you could find out about on eBay or buy from eBay, uh, the more common ones. So start down the list. And what am I doing? There we go. Going back to my web browser. All right. Let's first, we're going to do the uh, the Pharaoh Cicada, a.k.a. Magic Cicada Septum Decim. Of course, that's what's out now in North America and the United States. There it is. Brood 10. You might have heard of it. You might say Brood X, but really Brood 10. And... Uh, there it is. So let's see, where are we going to rank that? So what, what's ex what's great about the cicadas? Of course, they're 17-year cicadas. They come out in these massive numbers of cicadas, and uh, they could be magnificent or obnoxious, depending on how you think about it. I, I think it's magnificent. So very impressive in both the length of time, their lifespan, and uh, the, the massive numbers they arrive in. So where are we going to put this cicada? I think we'll start out. We're going to start out the feral cicada in S tier for now. That might change. That might change. All right. What's next? Go back to my list. The dwarf cicada, aka magic cicada, Cassini. So very similar to the septum decim, but tiny. Uh, how you tell the difference between them, other than the fact it's tiny and it's song, is that its abdomen is pretty much all black. Uh, when you get out to the Midwest, like Oklahoma, that changes. They, they'll actually have a little bit of orange on their abdomen, but where Brood 10 is, it's all black, and they're tiny. They're about the size of a quarter, I guess, maybe a little bit longer. And behind the eye, between the eye and the, uh, the wing insertion, there's no color there as well. So what are we gonna where are we gonna put them? Well, let me go back. Let's see. Tier list. I can't put them all in S. I'm gonna put this one in B. No A tier. I'll put it in A tier for now. Because basically it's the same, just as exciting. I don't think its song is as good as the uh Septum Decim. So it's going in A tier for now. Let's see. Magic Cicada Septendecula. It doesn't have a uh, common name, at least that I. Uh, it, it might call it. It used to be called the Dwarf Cicada too, but you know, it, when they when they moved, gave it its own species name. They didn't give it a name. So, uh, so how do you tell the difference? Let's see. Let me go to. You kind of see it. It has orange stripes on this abdomen. Uh, they're not as prominent as the Septendecula. So. And it's also small. Uh, you can see the size of my fingers. Those are man fingers. Um, it's, you know, large human fingers. Let's not just say man fingers. They're large human fingers. Um, I'm 6'2". I'm, I'm a large person. Um, yeah, it's, it's relatively tiny. And it's got some orange stripes, but not as, as brilliant as... Uh, let me, while I'm talking through all this stuff, let me... It's a show. See, see this? See, look at the abdomen there. Almost all orange. That's a septum decim. So, so where are we going to put the uh, septum decula? Is that A tier? We, we, gotta, we have to be fair. we got to put one in B. We're going to put septum decula in, in B. All right. So let's, uh, what's next? Uh, we're going to cover a bunch of cicadas. In one, we're going to look at the Neo to Bison. Uh, they're all very similar. They're all green. 
there's a bunch of them. Uh, Canicularis, Dog Day Cicada, Linei, Puinosis, Winimana. Uh, very similar, morphologically speaking. Uh, there's differences between them, but yeah, I'm going to count them as one. Neotobison. If I said Neo Cicada before, that's wrong. It's Neotobison. We're doing Neotobison now. I'm tired. No, I'm not really tired. I, I drank some G Fuel. Anyway, um, yeah, so how, where are we going to rank them in general? Let's see. Let's go back. I like them quite a bit, although they're not my favorite. So I'm going to put them in A tier right now. Let's see. Okay, so that's North America. All these cicadas so far are North America. Let me go. We're going to go to Australia for a while. So let's see. So there's Cyclochila Australasiae, which I've never heard another human being pronounce it. So how I pronounce it, probably wrong, but whatever. Um, what's interesting about this cicada is it has a lot of different color forms or morphs. There's the green grocer. You see that? It's green. It's red eyes. It has this big pronotal collar. Uh, very interesting looking cicada. Um, let's see. Then there's yellow Monday. You see it's all yellow. Or mostly yellow. Yellow orange. And then we have the blue moon. And I think this is this is a, a fantastic look at this. Beautiful blue colors. And let's see. And then there's another form. And this is there's more than this too. The masked devil. And that's orange with the with a black mask. So uh where are we gonna put these um characters? Let's see. So I'm gonna I'm gonna mix this one up. So Blue Moon is definitely an S tier. That's definitely an S tier cicada. Um, green Grocer, if I'm going to put uh, Neo Tobias in A, Green Grocer is going in A. Um, hmm. Maybe Yellow Monday goes in A too, but I'll probably move one of these two out into B. And Mass Devil, hmm. All right, you know what? I think Mass Devil we're going to put in. Ooh. You know, okay. Green Grocer is going down into B. And we're going to put both Yellow Monday and Mass Devil into A, but one of these two are going to have to come out, I think. All right. So that's those four were Australia. And again, it's the same species. Just different color morphs. Uh, let's see what's next. Uh, okay. We're going to do uh, Lambasia Paradoxa, aka the. Uh, Bagpipe cicada. So let's check this out. Look at that. Look at that giant abdomen. Imagine what it sounds like. I don't know what it sounds like. Google it. Bagpipe cicada. Maybe I should Google it now. I'm not going to. But look at it. It's, it's very, I mean, that's, that's very, uh, that's an exceptional cicada. doesn't look like most cicadas. So let's go back here. So we're going to put that. Um, gosh. That's definitely A tier, S tier. Hmm. I'm going to put it in S for now. Because it's just so magnificent. All right. And th get, that one's in Australia. So there you go. Let's see. Okay. Another Australian one. Uh, the Thopa cicada. Or cicada. I don't know how to pronounce that. Cicada. Thopa. Cicada. The Eastern Double Drummer. So why is this impressive? You can see it. You can say, ah, it's kind of cool, right? It has this like tiger sort of stripe pattern on it. Kind of. Um, it has these giant resonating chambers on its side. Uh, so, but, you know, it's maybe it's visually exciting. It's not like some of the other ones we've seen. Why is it exciting? It's exciting because it's very loud. Like uh, 120 decibels loud. When you get up near it, so I think it's mm, that depends on uh, who you ask, really. So actually, I'm going to go to the home page. I think I have it down here. So what's the loudest cicada? The loudest cicada is one in it's in Africa. 
and it is the uh, Brevisana Brevis, and measured at 50 centimeters, that's about 20 inches, it reaches 106 decibels, so uh, John Petty did the research and he, he looked at uh, the megatevice in Walkieri, which uh, Pronotalis Walkieri, Walkieri, Walker cicada, um, and a double drummer and other cicadas, and he found out this uh, the brevis on a brevis is the loudest, um, but these other ones are loud too. So uh, megatevice in uh, Pronotalis Walkieri, that's the loudest one in North America, and so the double double drummer is the loudest one in Australia. Now, um, uh, so don't put them next to your ears. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So, um, so where am I going to put that one? There it is. It's definitely A tier. I don't know if it's. Uh, so I don't have a photo of the loudest one, second loudest. I'm gonna put an S here for now, just because it's really loud. So, so for what's the criteria being S tier that we've established so far? One is really long life cycle, and the other one is just pretty. The other one's unusual looking, and the other one is um, very loud, super loud. One of the loudest in the world. So let's go back now, and that one's in Australia again. If I didn't say it before. Uh, okay, let's do red eye cicada. Saltota Morans, and that's another Australian one. Let's see. It's nice looking, right? So it, it's it's kind of like it, it might remind you of the uh, magic cicada in America, if just because it's black uh, with red eyes, but it doesn't you know? It's a little bit hairy. You notice that? Um, yeah, but, but it's it's not like it doesn't have a exceptionally long life cycle. It's not as loud as something else. It's not as visually stunning. So what are we going to do with this cicada? Um, again, that one's from Australia. Uh, I think for now it's B tier because it's still a cicada. I still like it, but it might have to come. If I run out of space, it might have to come down. So we'll see. All right, what's next? Uh, again, that was one from Australia. Um, bladder cicada. So you can say, okay, this is a lot like the bagpipe one, but it's different. It's different. So this one's a Systoma Saunders C. Saunders C. Um, let's take a look at it. I think they should call this one the Fat Leaf Cicada because it's definitely evolved to look like a leaf. Maybe so birds don't eat it, whatever. But it's got a big old gut on it too. And uh, let's see. You could see maybe see the abdomen better there. Big resonating chamber. Um, uh, let's see, so we're going to put the, another one, this one's in Australia too, so Australia might have the best, best, hmm. this is going to go into S tier for now, I might move it down if S tier fills up too much, because you can see there's a lot of, you can kind of tell there's a lot of good looking cicadas coming up, so, uh, but you know, looks isn't everything. But it's very unusual. It's like bagpipe cicada. So it's going in S for now. Um, let's see. Okay, what's next? White drummer. Arunta Peruata. Peruata. Again, I, I, I talk about this stuff in my head. You know, I'm actually, I never talk to anybody about reality. So there you go. It's It looks a lot like the double drummer, right? Um, and, and it has these two big like chambers on the side or areas that help it resonate. But they're white, big white drums, if you will. They're not as loud. It's a nice looking cicada, I guess. But you know, it's visually, it's other than the white parts, um, you could tell that it was kind of designed to be uh, match its surroundings. It has the brown, has the green, so kind of the tree colors. So. Not as visually stunning or more, or the shape's not that as interesting other than the, the two drums on the side. So we're going to put that. So mm, I feel that's a B. I'm going to put it in B tier right now. Okay. Now going back. If anybody's in chat, 
Um, I'm not looking right now. Just, just it's, uh, my crappy computer. Let's see. Uh, what's next? Hemiscara uh, maculipanus, aka the stop and go cicada. So where's this hemi? Scara. So I, again, I don't say these these out loud. I don't know Latin. I just know how they're spelled. Anyway, maculipanus, aka the stop and go cicada. Okay, so let's go take a look at it. And uh, there you go. So there's an illustration of it. You can see the body sort of boring, other than the pronotal collar is a nice green. Um, but what stands out is the green and orange red colors in its wings. So it's kind of striking. You see the cicada. I've seen it in collections against other cicadas. Um, it is impressive looking. So here's a, this is a Staten Island Museum. Uh, when you walk right in, there's a cicada display. And you can see the green has faded in the collar, but in the wings, the colors are still vibrant. So pretty impressive. And again, you'll find this in South America. And so let's go back. It's stop and go cicada. So why is it called stop and go? Because it's you know green and red, so it reminds people of, of a stoplight. And it's named by uh, William T. Davis, who is a very famous cicada describer, researcher, if you will, from Staten Island back in the day. Like we're talking like very active, like let's say a century ago. Maybe, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to rank this one. It's impressive looking. It probably looks better when it's alive, right? Is that a live picture here? No, I can't. So let's go back and I'm going to put that in A tier for now. We might move it. I don't know how it sounds or if it's any, any part that's impressive, but so let's, uh, let's go back to the list. And oh, here comes here comes one of the definitely. I, I, I feel like we're going to S tier for this one. It's the Emerald Cicada, aka a Zamara Smaragdina. Smaragdina. And uh, feel free, free to correct how I pronounce these things. Anyway, so um, here's here's uh, it gets these green and really uh, vibrant cyan. Cyan colors, blue, a turquoise, turquoise, nice turquoise, close set eyes. Anyway, it's very beautiful looking. Here's two of them kind of palling around. Uh, this is found in South America, but I think just for its, and the pronotal collar is pretty impressive, right? It's like almost like Dracula's collar or something like that. I might say Dra the vampire Dracula. Not your neighbor, um, who you know. Anyway, so just for its beautiful color alone, where are we gonna put that? I, I think that's S tier. I think it is. It's going up there, S tier. What's next? Uh, let's see. Uh, Fiddy, Sinios, Pisia, and I, I probably butchered that name. I need to go back to school to learn Latin and Greek, but at least how to pronounce it. But let's take a look at it. It's another one from uh, South America, maybe a bit of Central America. It's just a, uh, it, it's a solid salt of the earth. It's just a solid cicada, right? Just uh, that typical cicada shape, a little, little, little uh, uh, husky looking. Um, Solid looking cicada, really, uh, you know, not too, not too visually impressive, right? Um, but you know, filling up the list. So where are we gonna put this cicada? Um, I really don't know how it sounds. I don't know how impressive it could be in terms of I don't its life cycle. I don't think is that impressive. Um, man, so this might be just out of out of fairness. Oh man. Where is it even on this? In this, I don't even know where it is here. Well, yeah, okay, I put a link in it. I don't even have. So let's skip this one. Come back to it. Anyway, um, 
let's go to the giant cicada. And this is north. This cicada is Texas south into South America, so Central America, uh, South America, Quesada gigas. Um, Let's take a look at this cicada. So it's the largest cicada in South America, Central America, um, and Texas, but not all, but not in North America. We'll get to that one. That's mega device and all these. Um, but still, just because it's, it's impressive, it has an impressive song too. Hangs out on guave plants. Um, I just because it's very big. Um, in the Americas is number two total uh, number one uh, let's see we're gonna put that mm, I think it's an A tier it's not visually impressive but um, that'll put it down so it might knock it down to B let's see what's next uh, Carinetta Giardi that's what that one looks like Oh, I think we got another S tier. What do you think? So, um, look at those colors. That, that green on its pronotum and the red and green throughout the body and the legs. And then that yellow, green, like almost a, like a turquoise into like a green and into um, yellow on the wings. That's, that's This is S tier. So, this just for the beauty alone. So... Put it there. It is S tier. All right, so now, what else do we got left? Oh, hold up. Look at Bill and Mike. Let's see. How about the Salvazana Mirab Mirabilis Imperialis? Salvazana. Mirab Mirabilis Imperialis. So, someone else pronounced that for me. Anyway, so let's take a look at it. Um, standard husky cicada body, right? Um, nice pronotal collar. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we got this um, on a mesonotum where the like, McDonald's arches are. It's got kind of a cool. Looks like a crown with a demon face on it. That's interesting enough. Um, and the wings, again, it's another one with green and orange on it with more green in the translucent part. I, I, gosh, I think we've got to kick some out. This might be S. I think this is S tier. Um, but anyway, so it's found in, uh, in Southeast Asia. So Cambodia, China, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam. You'll see this one on eBay all the time. Uh, but let's go back because it has a sibling species. Another, so that's a subspecies. When you see three names in this species name, that's a subspecies. So here's the uh, Salvazana mirabilis, uh, mirabilis. And so let's, what's the difference between the two? So let's take a look at this one. See, it's not as nice. It's, uh, there's no orange in it. So... Um, and the markings aren't as, let's, let's scroll down. So it still has like the crown demon face thing going on, the mesonotum. Uh, this, this one's dead, so it probably looks a little nicer when it's not dead, when it's still fresh. But, eh, so, so what are we going to do with these, this pair? Let's go back to the ranking. Okay, so, this is definitely going into A, it's almost S, right? Let's put it up and ask for now, just for its beauty. But okay, this one. Um, just because it's the other the other subspecies, it's a bit of a slacker. We're gonna put it down in B. How about that? All right, let's go back. Okay, the Aburazemi. So this is we're in Japan now. So that's a, oh, we're going to pronounce this, Graftosaltria nigro toscata. Okay. Just means it has, a, um, well, I'll read it to its wings. So 
Uh, you see, it's it's actually I think it's impressive looking just based on the wing, right? So we've seen so far not a lot of impressive wings, maybe some interesting colors in the veins, but uh, the veins are totally opaque on this. You know, maybe you can't even see right through it uh, with this interesting pattern going on here. Let's zoom in here. Look at that pattern. That's that's awesome. Um, so. And Japan and Korea. Okay. So where are we going to put in Japan? It's known as the Ebora Zen. Where are we going to put that? Um, let's see. Let's go back. The rank and dark. I'm going to put it because I don't know. Maybe if I if I experienced it um, in real life, heard the song, was there. That might be an S tier. But for now, I'm going to put an A tier. Just based on the wings, because I think wings are, are one of the more interesting wings, just because it's uh, not translucent. All right. So let's go um, to, and I'm going to do one Tosina. Uh, there's a lot of Tosinas, uh, and they all kind of, they're very similar looking morphologically, but they're, they differ a lot in size. So maybe I'll just do a, a Tosina tier list someday. But let's pull up the uh, the Pavii so you can take a look at it. So all the Tosina, they all have this like a white stripe on the wing on the on the fore wings, and they might have some sort of coloring on the hind wings. This one has orange, has a bit of a red mask going on, and has a little bit of red in the veins coming out of the wings. It's impressive. Um, it's another one you'll see a lot on eBay. And where's it from? So it's from Southeast Asia. All these Southeast Asia cases, they're, they're just loaded up on, on eBay. Um, I don't know why, but they are. Um, you can see where it's Burma, Cambodia, China, Laos, Thailand, Vietnam. Um, yeah, so all the Tosina look like this, but they vary a lot in size. It'd be very you can have wingspans of like six inches. They can have down to like, I think this one's about mm, a little over two. So, I could be wrong. Could be right. Anyway, uh, so where are we going to put this? Representative all Tosinas. We're going to, this is a solid, it's a solid eBay cicada. Um, did I put one wall to see in here? I don't know. No. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. Why not? Just because it's, it's a nice little cicada. It's going to look nice um, in a frame in your, your bedroom or your house. Somewhere in your house. Not Probably not in the kitchen. Maybe in your living room or your den, your study. You know. It's pretty. It's like a butterfly. So let's go back. Let's see. Okay, here's it's gonna be another interesting looking one. Uh, the Beck Quartina Electa. Beck Quartina Electa. And let's take a look at it. So, okay, I'm thinking. Oh yeah, it looks looks very similar to a Tosina because you're thinking about the the stripe on the wings. Um, yellow in the in the hind wing. Uh, I think it's nice. It's another one you'll find this one in eBay, not as frequently as like a, a Tosina, but or uh, some of the others we're about to see. But yeah, it's a good looking cicada. You think A tier? Mm, I'll put an A tier. Why not? I'm feeling generous tonight, but it might have to come out because I don't know much more about them. So uh, where is it? Is this it? Hopefully, this is it. There we go. All right, what else we got? We're going to have to move some down from A. You, get, you see that happening, don't you? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Get a Calo Guyana Festiva. Let's see if we could spell Calo Guyana Festiva. And it used to be just Guyana Festiva. Um, they changed around the uh, genera. Uh, just regular Gana have a slightly different wing. 
So let's take a look at it. This is in the, the butterfly category of cicadas. They look like butterflies because of uh, the wings are, are not, you can't see through the wings. Um, we can, uh, they're not translucent or anything like that. Uh, it look like butterflies, right? Very beautiful. You'll see these on eBay. Um, yeah, so where we put these, they're small, relatively small. Let's take a look at them. Or take a look at where we're going to put them. Okay. Okay. I feel this is, I feel they're A's. You know, they're almost S, but, hmm. Is that an S? I'm gonna put an A for now. Okay. Okay, so where you, where they found like all this case you find on eBay, Southeast Asia, China, Thailand, India, the India, uh, Laos, Malaysia, Indochina, Bhutan. Let's see. What's next? Distalan. Let's. Oh boy. This tell, tell oh boy, this so it's, oh, distant Al Alna, distant, because it's based on the guy's name was distant. Uh, distant Alna, uh, Splendida. What time is it? It's almost one o'clock. And distant Alna, distant Alna, distant Alna. Distant Alan, Alna, Distant Alna, Splendida, Splendida. It's two. This is another subspecies. But uh, that's another eBay cicada. Uh, another cicada found in Southeast Asia. Um, very pretty. Uh, interesting wing design. It used to be under the um, the, the genus Tosina. It got moved out. Obviously, uh, probably because it has like white on the wings up here. Definitely not, though, uh, Tosina. Um, so it moved out. So why, 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 why? Why is this interesting? Well, it is based on, well, it's a cicada that's an inspiration for, uh, I don't know if it's a meme or it's like an internet puzzle, the um, cicada, uh, 3301 cicada. Well, so that's what it's based on. So and there's my... For, <laughs> My diagnosis of why it is. Anyway, nice if I can pronounce it correctly. Uh, anyway, so go, so where are we going to put this cicada? Obviously, it's a beautiful cicada. Um, I think because of its cultural significance, we're going to give this S tier. Uh, do I think it's pretty as some of the other, or interesting as some of the other? Not really. But because of the whole 3301, yeah, it's going in S tier for now. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oy so oh, we might as well talk about how to pronounce cicada. So I'll, I'll say cicada or cicada. Uh, the correct way, as far as I'm concerned, is cicada, because that's how William T. Davis said it. And it's probably how they said it back in uh, uh, Rome, back in back in the day. Uh, it, it comes from the word lat, the Latin word cicada, which means cicada. You'll see if you owe cicada. Cicada means tree cricket. Well, no, it actually just means cicada. Um, and the Latin word for cicada comes from uh, cesara, which is a Sanskrit word. But anyway, um, I digress. What's next? Uh, crypto tympana aquila. So crypto, crypto means hidden. Tympana means rum. So this group of cicadas. Um, can't see their little noise maker from the side like you can on the other cicadas. But so let's take a look at that. Oh, look at this cicada. Now that's an impressive cicada. Another cicada from Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Brunei, Thailand. So we're getting like toward like closer toward the islands that are kind of reaching out to Australia. Um, very impressive looking uh, wing coloration with the kind of uh, it, it reminiscent reminiscent of a bat, right? So, you know, we're putting together a, uh, a Halloween decoration of cicadas. Uh, you might pick this one. The body, uh, it's just like a generic cicada body. Not too impressive, but the wings are impressive. So, 
we're gonna put this character. Um, I think it's an A tier. It's an A tier. I'm running out of A tier space. Um, yes, what's we'll have to. I think the next one something has to come out of A tier. So, okay. Okay, what is sanguinea, the aka the medicinal cicada sanguinea? If I'm pronouncing that right, uh, sanguine uh, has to do with blood, and why blood uh, other than maybe because it's, it's blood red? Uh, so what's interesting about this cicada is it often gets ground up into preparations or maybe tinctures, um, and it's used to treat certain uh, ailments, I think stuff with the kidneys. Uh, if you go to my website, it says what, but okay. The other one from, um, I'd say South Asia in general, um, everywhere from India to Thailand and in between, Pakistan even. Um, so really found everywhere. It's very tiny too. Very tiny. Not tiniest, but small enough. So it definitely has an interesting story, but is it visually interesting? Is it A tier? Is it B tier? Oy. I'm gonna put B. See, for me personally, it doesn't do much. So I'm gonna put it in B, even though it has a really interesting story. Mm, I'm gonna put it in B. All right. And so let's see. You get that on eBay too, all day long. Um. Iutheus spectable, spectable, spectable. So let's check this one out. Um, oh, yeah, it's another eBay one. Uh, also found Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, that area. Uh, it's on eBay all day long. Um, but all right, so I think we're getting to the point where, out of all these eBay cicadas. It's kind of boring looking, right? Maybe it has a fantastic song. Maybe it has a great story. I don't know the story. I just know that it's not as pretty as other cicadas. So what are we going to do with it? Hmm. Hmm. For now, it's going to see. Hate to do that to a cicada, but it just doesn't, it's just not as exciting as other cicadas. So. Let's see. Uh, okay. Sorry, Cicada. Like I said, all Cicada should be an S tier, but I'm just trying to be fair. Okay, what's next? Um, here we go. It's another one. Angamiana floridua. Angamiana floridua. Let's say that. Angamiana floridua. So let's check this one out. Depends on what I say. Gamiana. China, India, Vietnam, Thailand, South Asia. So this is an illustration of it. It is impressive looking from just from an illustration. But here's what it looks like. Real, not an illustration. So I think the body, kind of crusty looking. Uh, it, again, well, that's not fair. Okay, let's. Here it is. Real. Big eyes. Big. Yellow eyes, yellow pronotal collar, um, bigger than a human thumb, for sure, and uh, really interesting wings. Right, it has really small cells in the wings, the four wing. Uh, gosh, the body though, you know, it's kind of yeah. So I would say hmm, it's visually impressive, right? It's not like the bright oranges. It's not, um, yeah. Let's see. Let me put this cat in. I think it's a solid B. If it was like a bright orange, or like a brighter orange, <laughs> a more vibrant orange. So because here's what it looks like, right? Um, it might be. I wish I had a, I wish I had a picture. Scrolling, scrolling now. Uh, gosh, this is a tough one. Okay. 
I don't want to say A, but it's really neutral. It reminds me of like uh, like sage colors, like like tacky pants, right? Impressive, very definite, impressive rings. Tiny little cells in the rings, right? Impressive patterns in the rings. Um, body's really not that fantastic. I think the pronotal collar is a little interesting, though. Yeah. It's somewhere between B and A. I'm going to just because we're running out of space in the A category, I'm going to put it in B for now. Again, you could get this all day on eBay. So if you want it, it's definitely on eBay. Let's see. What's, so what's next? Uh, oh, Ori Tobison Japonicus. Um, used to be Tobison Japonicus. Uh, this one's found in Japan. Korea too? Let me see. No, just Japan. Um, known as the Ezozemi or Ezozemi over there. And there's a photo of it. So it looks a lot like other uh, crypto tapana, uh, tapani tribe cicadas. Uh, cicadas. It's a little tie up there. Say crypto uh, tempani. So anyway, let me go back to college and just learn how to pronounce this thing. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's like an, an, the American neotobison, right? Very similar to that in, in the basic shape and even like the, the sort of like the coloration and whatnot, but maybe a little more impressive than like, let's say, an American um, neotobison. Basic same shape, um, but with the pattern a little more interesting. So I I, I want to put this in A. I want to put it in A. Let's see if I have space in A. But is it better than the other stuff in A? And and am I going to even find it? Here it is down here. I can tell you what from afar. From afar, maybe it's not A. Um, so what's it actually just looking at what's what's an A that could come out? I don't want to do it. I want to pull out Cassidy. Um, well, until we need to, let's just tuck this up here in A. There we go. All right, again, that was from Japan. How about the Unjaba Evanescence? And where's this one found? Madagascar. So Madagascar, you've probably seen the movie. Um, there's a cicada. I don't have a picture of it. I probably do have a picture on the site. But OK, here's an illustration. So what's really impressive about um, this whole tribe, really, the Vlad of Plurini, um, they have big pronotal collars. Um, and the genius of Njaba is the four wings are really interesting, and they have like this almost like a leopard pattern on them. And they're, they're pretty big, right? They're kind of um, in the, uh, I guess, the width. I'm not sure from, from, the, from the coastal margin, which is the part that hits the wing, um, down to the end. It's pretty thick. Oh uh, gosh, I wish I had a picture of this on the site, but it, it, it's it's very impressive. Go on to iNaturalist and look for it. Um, so we're gonna put this. Uh, I don't have a lot of. I don't have a well. I I do and I don't. But most of the uh, pictures of cicadas I have on, on from from Africa and Madagascar on the site are illustrations. They're not actual photos of cicadas, which kind of sucks um and just did not no one's selling these on ebay so uh we're gonna put it uh I, I feel like i don't have enough evidence here um to really compare to the others visually so um i think for now for now it's going in b but i think if we had like an actual photo it might be a tier so Okay. Let's 
to that chemist. So, okay. So this cicada, this is like everybody's favorite cicada to ever see a thing. For like at least a half an hour, it's everybody's favorite cicada, which is the uh, Pacua speciosa. Um, so let's take a look at it. So it's just, it's visually striking. It has that chartreuse, um, pronotal collar, um, red cruciform elevation over here. It has that, that light blue um, abdomen back here. It has the, uh, the wings that are, you know, they're not clear, translucent. You can actually, you know, you shine light through them, so I guess that's okay. Anyway. It's, it's light. Um, it takes a good, and you can see the size of it. So here's a cicada on a woman's arm. It, it's fairly huge. Um, let's see. Let's pull more photos from that. Shock. The person who took the photos um, asked me to be uh, not to say who they are, so we're not going there. But you see how big it is. It's just big. It's like a big stuffed animal. Um, Visually striking, you know, it's, it's, and it's like, it's not lumpy, <laughs> the way to put it, you know, it's, it's, it's almost looks like it was, it's a sculpture of a cicada rather than like an actual cicada. Very impressive. So, um, and because it's large, it's very visually impressive. It's very, uh, it's a nice cicada. It, it's definitely, this is S tier all day long. So, and, oh yeah, where is it found? Let's go back to the page. Uh, uh, Malaysia, Indo Indonesia, uh, islands Borne uh, Borneo and Sumatra, that area. Let's see. Okay, what's the next one? Natal, Talanga, Talanga, Binghami. Uh, Talinga, Binghami, Bingami, Talinga, Bingami. Let's take a look at that. And there we go. So, okay, so this one's, um, you know, the body's kind of crusty. <laughs> um, the red near the eyes and the side of pronotal, uh, pronotal collar, that's kind of impressive. Uh, but the wings are really impressive, right? So almost circular cells in the wings. Um, and I think they're opaque for the most part. Um, I don't think any of this is transparent here. So very, it's very, the wings are very visually impressive. Let me see if it is. So here's an illustration of it. You know, the red into the pronotal collar, red eyes, um, I believe. And uh, the wings are very different. So this is an illustration. In reality, the, the uh, cells, the wing, they're almost ovals. Um, so I can't put this in S just because the body's crusty. Um, I don't know if it's an A. It's like an A, B. Let's go back. Where is it? I'm going to put it in B. Um, yeah, I, I feel a little bad about uh, putting it in B. But. Okay, so, um, okay, now we're going to go for the, the largest cicada. Uh, Megapoponia imperioria, let's see, imperia. Imperatoria, Imperatoria, Megaponia, Imperatoria, Imperatoria, Territoria. Anyway, huge. So, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Nepal, Thailand. It's the largest cicada in the world. Um, you know, it's about the size of a like, football. No, not that big. But wingspan twenty centimeters. Um, very large. Uh, the name changed uh, within the past 10 years. It's just the small Pomponias. Uh, these are mega, mega. They're very big. 
Oh, and, and this one is the largest in the world. So at largest, that's automatic S to your right. So um, let's up into S tier. All right, let's go back. You know, again, I can't do all 3,000 uh, cicadas, and I kind of just went through the site sequentially. Uh, so there's definitely a, like a big chunk of the Japanese cicadas, cicadas of Japan, uh, left out. Um, European cicadas, I, I don't think I have too many in this list. Um, definitely don't have enough of the African cicadas in this. Definitely not enough South American, really. But, you know, we'll, we, we could do other tier lists later on. So, uh, let's see. Okay, what's next? So, this one is in Africa. So, the uh, Quintilla Aurora. It's a nice name, right? Um, let's take a look at it. So, uh, this one's really, I think it's a nice looking cicada. Now, the body. Um, kind of average, right? Maybe its head is its head has a smaller head. Um, interesting pronotal collar, and it kind of has um pronotum uh, has a single line down the middle, and then pronotal collar kind of has a split coloration. Uh, let's see, the wings are really nice. So this is uh, get like from orange going all the way up to like a yellow. It's like kind of like a a sunrise or a sunset maybe really pretty wings really pretty wings so um i'm gonna get i don't know about its call or anything like that but i think it's very pretty wings um so it's from the republic of south africa which i think is just south africa but i could be wrong um so let's see how are we gonna place this again uh, I'm gonna put it in. I don't know. What, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take out Yellow Monday for now. Put that in B tier. This is this cycle shield is all over the place, and Blue Moon's gonna stay in S. Um, Green Grocer in B. Yeah, two in B. I'm gonna leave the Mass Devil in A. And I'm gonna move the Aurora, the Q Aurora up here. All right. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What's next? Ooh. Muansa Clypealis. Muansa Clypealis. So by the by the Clypealis, there must be something funky going on with its Clypeus, which is like the what looks like a cicada's nose, but it's really just the pump that it uses to pump sap. Um, through its beak and up into its bottom. Let's take a look if we could see anything special with that. Yeah, I guess we've got a pretty big one. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. And this, I just have an illustration of this, but it obviously very impressive. Um, see, uh, the wings have a very impressive pattern in them, and has a green in the pronotal collar. And you know, it's pronotal collar, right? So it's like a Kind of a Dracula look we saw in the Zamara, right? Maybe even more pronounced. That really very angular, very angular. It's very impressive. Almost like I would say it's like Halloween colors almost because it's got the orange, it's got green, it's got a Dracula collar. Uh, very impressive. And I don't have a picture of it. It's just an illustration, but just based on that, um, yeah. let's see. It's an A tier. Um, I feel it's A tier. I feel it's A tier. So what's coming out of A tier? Um, yeah, there's definitely what's coming out of A tier. Um, French. Um, but that Quartino Electra's coming. Just because it looks like a lot like the Tosina, you know, we don't get to see a lot of these skates from Africa um, too often. So we're going to put um, A. A, 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 A. 
Oh, God. Six. Let's see what else we have. There we go. The Ioba Wimbaticalis. Ioba Wimbaticalis. Wimbaticalis. Or anyway. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Is this the one that should got the 18? Because look at that collar. Look at that. That's an impressive collar. Um, again, you can see that up here, and right, that's the Clypeus. Now let's go down to the illustration here. It's got a really massive Clypeus. Um, you know, it, you can see it from the front. Wait till you see it from the back type of thing. And uh, yeah, very impressive looking. Um, is this the one that should be an A? Is this the one that should be an A? Or are we just going to give this, is this one an S? Just based on the collar alone. I, I'm pretty sure this one has the Ioba um, Batacollis. Um, has the most impressive collar. Collis, maybe collis means collar. I don't know. I don't have my uh, translation book with me right now. Um, Take a look. Let's go back to the blue. Is there anything else going to go into S? It might be. It might be something else. Uh, okay, for now, for now this is going to S just for that gigantic collar and the and the big clypeus uh, right up there. So okay, again, this one was from. Let's see if it was in uh, all over Africa. Um, like I don't know, sub central sub sub. sub Saharan Africa, West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, Ivory Coast, Central African Republic. Um, there you go. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to get back to like North America. Really, I should do a North American tier list. Um, so let's go. Personal favorite of mine. This one's a personal favorite. So it's kind of like, ah, do I automatically give this an S tier? Do I? And this would be the, the Swamp Cicada. And you're looking at it, you're like, okay, come on. Come on, there's nothing really visually interesting about this cicada. It's just it's green, black, um, camouflage colors. It's a husky boy. <laughs> it's not that big, but. Um, uh, you know, it's a female, very well. But let's talk about cicada anatomy while we're here. Okay, um, uh, I'll kind of reveal it. So what do we see right here? Uh, we see, we'll see one, see one of the eyes, kind of see the other eye on the left-hand side. You see the two antenna. You have the clypeus, um, and you have the symbol of, uh, it's a GI, you know, cobra. Kind of looks like the cobra symbol. Um, then you have the bee come down here, uh, the rostrum, the area. Uh, then we got the legs, and uh, this is a female. Let's see. Uh, now right in here, that's where it's over positive would be. This is very tenoral, so really not developed. Um, and there's anyway. So let's see. So again. A personal favorite, if not my favorite cicada. Am I going to play favorites? Like, you have your favorite band, right? But maybe you admit that your favorite band is not the best band, right? Your favorite band, maybe it's your, your buddy's band. But are they as good as, I don't know, what's a, are they as good as ACDC? Are they as good as Led Zeppelin? Are they as good as um, The Weeknd? Are they as good as, I don't know, Doja Cat? Probably not. Not as good as Doja Cat. So, uh, but they're your favorite, right? So me personally, this is S tier all day long. Just because it's my favorite. But why is it my favorite? Just because I, I think it's the first cicada I've ever, I ever encountered as a person. Um, it's a pretty good song as songs go in North America. Um, uh, easy to catch, easy to find. During the summertime, I could find these all days long from 
end of June all the way into September. Just, you know, just hang out by a tree at 9 o'clock and I'll find a couple. So, um, from that perspective, I like it. For me, this is a personal S tier, but is it S tier globally? Let's take a look. Hmm. Is it S tier globally? Um, yeah, of course it is. So let's gonna take we're gonna take out one of the eBay cicadas. Um, uh, yeah, let's take out the thirty three oh one cicada. That's going down to B, and we're gonna put in Neo to Bison to Bison to Bison, aka the Swamp Cicada, aka the Morning Cicada. There you go, thirty three oh one. I never even tried to solve that puzzle, even though it has stuff. It's all cicada thing, but you know I'm tired of it. So let's go back down. What time is it? One one thirteen where I am. All right. All right. How about then we're gonna go so that was a swamp cicada, morning cicada, another neo to bison. This one's superbus. Uh, the superb cicada. So look at this. So I, I, a buddy of mine recently said no, no cicada head. He was like Oh yeah, this is the best in the get to bison, just visually speaking. Because look at it. It it's it's got a cool mask. It has this nice black eyes, has a mask between them. Most of it's just kind of a cool um I don't know what color would you call that? That's like a light green. Almost it's not a line. Like a pea green or a grass green. Yeah. It's like lighter than that. Um and then it has these like uh, on the mezzanotum it has these like um, has the McDonald's arch kind of faintly a little bit yellow and then it has the uh, little black markings. So definitely is visually stunning as North American cicadas go. Is this the best looking North American cicada? Hmm, I think it is. I think it is. But is it S tier? I don't think so. I think A tier, maybe even B tier. Because we already looked at, okay, so we looked at other Neo to Bison. I kind of already covered them. But that was more like the Dog Day camouflage sort of uh, Neo to Bison, like the Lineae, Who Knows His, Winnie Mana, uh, Lata Fasciatus, that sort of. Um, this is definitely. Better than that. So if we have to swap one out, we might have to put you know, so like that B tier. Let's go back. Okay. So we're gonna pull Lady Eye's gonna go that's that's still B. We're gonna kinda hang it over here. Still B. But uh the superbus is definitely going into A. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, Okanagana species. Yeah. There we go. So Okanagana, just there are different Okanagana. So, but ninety percent of them, the this black color, glued with orange highlights. A lot of people. Who find them get them confused with the magic cicada, and to be honest, they're 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 interesting in that um, one of them and it's on my website somewhere, but one of them might have a nineteen year life cycle, uh, which is obviously longer than seventeen year like magic cicada. I don't know that it's quite documented, but it's it that's someone someone did the work and said it's nineteen years, so we'll go with that. Um, I don't think it's as visually impressive as any of the other cicadas on this list. You know, the orange is nice. There are green versions of there. There's a green species. Uh, I think red of fascist is his name. A fascist, fascist. Get the sod. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I'm struggling with that. But um, yeah. So just just. But 90% of them look exactly like this. 
just black body, a little bit hairy, often, with like either orange or beige markings. Yeah. The song's not too impressive. Hard to catch, apparently. Uh, or or what I've been from what I've been told, I say apparently, like everybody else knows. But tell you what, um, as a cicada, it doesn't impress me too much. It does and it doesn't. So one of them has a nineteen year life cycle. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put this. And Okanagana, yeah, I'm gonna put it C tier. I hate to do that again. Uh, but I, I just, it just didn't do a lot for me. So, this cicada is floating out here. Uh, which one is that? I think that's one of the South American ones. Yeah. That's it. He's going to eat me now. Let's see. What else? Um, oh, Platypedia. Platypedia. Putnami, Putnam Cicada. So, okay. I don't even have a good picture of it on the site. I have a I have a box of them next to me, but I've never never took a photo and put them on. But you could you could go into iNaturalist um, and, and look it up. So they look a lot like. Um, Look a lot like the Okanagana, but they're skinnier. And the thing about them is they click, but they don't sing. So they 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 smash their their wing smasher, but it doesn't. Um, again, they look just like. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm gonna go with the bug rider. Take a look at them. See, copyright this person. Um. Hairy, so it's kind of impressive, right? But kind of has a neat wing thing. We have multiple colors of the wing things, uh, but it doesn't sing. So for me, I like that singing. For me, oh, actually, I guess I did have a picture of one, so I did make a. Uh, here we go. But I put it in C because it doesn't sing. I want to. I almost want to put it in D. But it does impress me by the fact that it has it. I found a different way to make noise. So putting it down C. Uh, what what's left? It's about. I think we have so, and that's North America. Uh, did we lose internet? Nope, didn't lose internet. Um, okay, so what's left? Um, so we have Mega Device and all Okay, that's another one of my favorites. Um, so this is the biggest cicada in North America, and if we add up all the Americas, it's the biggest cicada. A little bit bigger than the uh, Quesada Gigas um, giant cicada. Um, visually impressive. Um, in person, they are. In person, they definitely are. They're big. Get a hold of them. They're strong, powerful cicadas. Big skookum chuchus. But, um, uh, you know... The wings are clear, so you don't have pretty wings. Um, are they as anywhere near like the Pomponia, Mega Pomponias? No, in terms of size. Uh, but you know, if you're in North America, they could be impressive. They have impressive songs. They sing at dusk. Um, they their coloring kind of was they they like oak trees, and you can see the coloring is kind of acorny color. Uh, so where would I put this? I would say. So just as if we're just doing North America, it's S tier all day long. Um, but for me, if I can't put an S tier, or do I swap out uh, Swamp Cicada for this one into S tier? Now I'm gonna put this A tier. This is an A tier Cicada um, on a global, global way. Let's see. So what does something have to come out of A tier? So this could go in. Hmm. Have to come out of A tier. The cast and I is looking at me. So do we or do we take out case out of Gigas? 
across negative uh, negative bison for me is bigger than that. Oh gosh. See it's it's very very tough. Tell you what. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tuck S9 and set them down here. Let's go now to B2. Because you know they're not they're not as impressive as the S tier um, magic cicada set from Dessa because it's that one's bigger and easier to catch. So um, Mega Device on Leedies, solid A tier. Really so North American solid S tier. And Cast Knight, really. Um, that, that's North America at A tier. Septum, Septum Dacula, I know there's going to be somebody who says, oh, Septum Dacula, no, that's more impressive because there's less of them and they have a better call. Whatever. So let's see, what's left on the list? Um, oh, Mega Device and Dorsata. So uh, another Mega Device, in, so it's a very large one. I think it's very visually impressive. Um, I call it the pumpkin latte spice. So it's definitely Halloween colors. Um, and look at this. So this is so another uh, cicada anatomy thing. So when they first molt, uh, they're very soft. Uh, and they have to take some while, maybe 24 hours, maybe longer than that, for them to harden. Um, look at how beautiful this thing. I think it's beautiful. You probably, yeah, it looks like like gross but I think it's just beautiful colors um, looks like pinkish beige light orange color it's very striking this photo is by Greg Holmes go to the lope .com. Um, very striking cicada and look at that it's beautiful imagine you saw that on a tree that's and compared to other maggots of bison uh, they're usually green or, and then to bison, uh, neo to bison, they're usually between green and, and like a pink. Um, but yeah, so I, this is really an A, and it might even be an S tier North America, but I mean, we're kind of running out of space, right? So, does Dorsatus really pull something out of A? Really tough. So a bunch of orange cicadas up here. I'm gonna. Hmm. So is Dorsatus better than Neotobison? Superb. Hmm. I don't know. I, okay. Well, Mattis over here. Mattis to me is it's S tier Japan. But uh, I, I'm feeling generous today. I really want to see Dorsatus in a higher tier. Um, let's just get a bunch of orange cicadas up here. Let's put it right next to Mass Devil. There you go. It's going in there. Um, that's A tier. All right. So what's left? We have this guy over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, are you people about to take a screen capture of this, this wonderfulness? Um, I got this. So what was this? I'm going to go on my website. Figure this. This, this I'm pretty sure this is in South America. Uh, let's go. Let's learning how to go through Dan's website. <laughs> uh, there we go. I think it's one of these. Caduceus Odes. Let's see. Scroll, 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 scroll. Whole article. Um, and I think this is where I can. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, that's why I was looking at that other article. Okay, that makes sense. So, Fiddy, Cineodes. Well, it could be Fiddy, Cineodes, Fiddy, Cineodes, Pisia, Pisia. Pisia. That's a good looking cicada. Um, I think this one's this is it's definitely South America. So maybe a little bit of Central America, but definitely South America. 
That's a good looking zucchini. It's a little bit hairy. This might be tenoral. Um, wings. Is it cooked up to tenoral? Let's see. No, no, it's got its own tribe. Okay, yeah, but I think the the tympana doesn't make much sense. Um, this is a good looking zucchini, right? I think it's B tier. It's it's yeah, probably South American A tier. I think it's B tier. So okay. Picea. Uh, that's not going to do it. There we go. All right. All right. So that's the uh, skated tier list. I don't know if I'm still streaming. It could have dropped off. But this is fun for me, even if I'm just in my house. Let's see. It's 1.28 a.m. So I think that's it. Wrapping up. Um, if you have any questions or leave some comments, if you have any, you know, you want to make fun of how I pronounce the Cata names? That's fine. So I didn't go to school for this, by the way. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have any Latin schooling. I don't actually talk to people about cicadas. That's wrong. So I talk I talk to people about all the North American species. So, um, but anything outside of North America, I don't think I've had one audible conversation with them. Um, so, so forgive me on all the mis mispronunciations. Oh, again. Uh, cicada, cicada, really cicada. Um, so this was fun for me. If the stream held up, can somebody actually watch this? I'll probably do enough. Probably do this again on on Twitch. So I, I want to try out Twitch a little bit too, just because I'm bored a lot of times. Yeah. Anyway, all right. I'm gonna shut down the stream for now. <laughs>